In this video, we're gonna talk about some actual ways I was able to make extra money as a photographer through shooting different things and how I currently make extra money from my packages just by improving the type of service I provide. So let's start with some different ways you can make money with your camera. When I first moved to Toronto, nobody was hiring me for portraits because I didn't know anyone. So what I did was I went to different businesses, like small businesses in the downtown area and asked if they needed photography services for their social media. What I did was I found them on Instagram first and the businesses with the worst looking photos were the ones I asked. Basically, I told them that their photos were basically garbage, but in a nice way. And I pitched to them that I will give them enough photos for a month worth of social media posts. Essentially, what you're gonna be doing is going into a business once a month or twice a month, shooting enough photos for that month, and you can easily charge 500 to $1,000. Now just get three or four more businesses like this, and you'll have two to $4,000 reoccurring every month because you're only giving them enough content for a month, so they have to hire you back the next month. You can even offer running their social media account or creating TikToks and Reels for them as an add-on for an extra 500 to $1,000 a month. This is great, right? Well, I can guarantee the first, second, third business you'll ask will all tell you no. I found that this is simply a numbers game. It took me asking and emailing over 30 businesses just to get the one hair salon I was doing this for. So if you are planning to do this, just remember that it's a numbers game. The more businesses you ask, the better chance you have. One of my favorite ways to make extra money is to second shoot weddings. If you know a photographer who shoots weddings, ask if they need a second photographer or like to put you on a list if they ever need a second photographer or second shooter. Second shooting is a great way to make extra money with not a lot of work. As a second shooter, you're responsible for capturing all the other important things that happen during the wedding day and to assist the lead photographer. At the end of the wedding day, you hand over all the photos you took to the lead photographer and that's it. There's no editing, no headaches, no planning that comes with planning weddings. When I was second shooting weddings, I was getting paid anywhere from 50 to $100 per hour. So just to attend an eight hour wedding, snap some photos and that's it, I would make anywhere from 400 to $800 for those eight hours. And I'm telling you, it's one of the easiest things ever. If you ever get the opportunity to second shoot a wedding, definitely, definitely take it. Now, another way I was able to make some extra money is through product photography. Probably about two years ago, I posted a TikTok shooting a product photo of a beer can. The video went kind of viral. I believe I posted it the first time. It did like 300,000 views and I posted it another time and I did and it did like 700,000 views. And right after that, I had a few companies reach out to me to send me products to take photos of. I don't remember exactly how much I charged because it was the first time I ever actually got paid to do product photography, but I believe I charged them anywhere from like $300 to $500, which I feel like I could have definitely gotten paid more. Now I want to talk about add-ons because these are often overlooked by photographers. A lot of people don't really know that they can add add-ons or offer add-ons onto their packages to make extra money. But just like buying anything, think about buying a car. Add-ons can easily add thousands of dollars to the MSRP value of the car. Add-ons in photography can easily add more value for the client, but also make you some extra money. Photographers who really take advantage of this are wedding photographers. Wedding photographers offer add-ons like no tomorrow, like photo albums, a second photographer, extra coverage, and sometimes these add-ons can add up to more than the cost of the initial wedding package. Like literally taking a wedding package that's $3,000 to six, seven, eight thousand dollars A while back, I decided to offer add-ons to my packages, and it was one of the best things I ever did. The thing with add-ons is that if you don't offer anybody, nobody will know they exist. Someone is not gonna request high-end skin retouching from me because most likely they won't know if that's something I do, I offer, or what it even is. 
So what are some add-ons you can offer with your packages? If you're a portrait photographer, high-end skin retouching is a pretty common one. This is something you can charge extra for because it takes so much of your time to do. Another great add-on is extra photos. If the term set out in the contract was that the client gets 20 photos, don't just let the other 50 to 100 photos that are on your computer go to waste. Instead, give them the option to download the rest of the photos at an extra cost. Faster delivery or turnaround times, commercial licensing, all of these are great add-ons that can easily take a $400 portrait package to seven, eight, nine hundred dollars $900. I'm pretty sure I've made more money off of add-ons and high-end skin retouching than my actual packages. If you wanna make some extra money from a delivered session, you can sell prints and albums. Now, I'm not talking about selling prints of your landscape photos, although I will talk about that in the next point, but this is offering your clients the choice to buy prints and albums from their session with you. If you're delivering your photos through websites like Pixie Set or PicTime, I personally use PicTime, these websites make it extremely easy for your clients to buy prints or photo albums of the photos you just delivered to them. You don't have to go to a shop and print the photos yourself. The client just chooses the photos they wanna print. There's a buy button right on PicTime and they just choose what size they want. PicTime has their own printing service that gets the photos printed and delivered to the client without you doing anything. This is a great way to make some extra money from the photos you've already delivered. Now, if you have somewhat of a presence on social media, you can easily make some extra money by selling presets and prints. If you don't have a presence on social media, it's gonna be a little hard to market your own products. I know before I had any following on social media, I had a my own store with prints and presets, and I kid you not, I didn't make one sale. But as soon as I had some sort of following, more people began to find out about my products and they started to buy them. Now. I definitely don't recommend selling presets that were put together in two minutes just to make a quick buck. If anything, this is gonna do more harm than good. If you're gonna sell presets, I recommend selling the presets that you use every single day to edit your own photos, the ones that you've been developing and fine tuning for a long time. You can use websites like Squarespace, Gumroad, what's the other one, Selfy, to create your own store of products. And just like presets, if you have a presence and know how to market yourself and market your products, you can also sell prints of your work. If you wanna get an idea of what I'm talking about, you can actually check out my own store, link in the description. Teach photography. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be for the beginner photographers and that's why I saved it till the end. But if you are a professional photographer just looking to make some extra money on the side, Teaching photography is a great way to make some extra money with your skills. This can be with YouTube, like I'm doing right now, creating your own course, selling your contract templates like I do, anything that will help a beginner photographer become a better photographer like I'm doing now. There are many other ways like stock photography, offering retouch and editing services, shooting graduation photos, real estate. You can start a photography vlog, flying your drone and taking photos for construction surveying. There's so many ways photographers are making extra money and I'm still learning all these new ways like every single day. Every time I go to a creative event, I always learn new ways photographers are making money, but I wanted to talk about my own experience and some of the ways I was actually able to make decent money myself. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful and helpful, make sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I can't make this up. I was just about to turn the video off and I check my phone and I get an email from Adobe Stock that I made I don't know if you can see that, it's in my notifications there. I made 70 cents off of a stock photo. Congratulations, Stefano, you earned, you made 70 cents from that photo. Wild, 70 cents. I think I've made like maybe $3, $4 in my entire lifetime of posting stock photos, which I don't really do. Stock photography, guys.